Christian just got a score, man. He got a really good one, I think. Let's see how he goes with it. All right, let's do this. Hello, and welcome back to another video. Today is the first one. This is the first video for 2024 and the first trip to the thrift. Before we get started, play that intro. I actually had the opportunity to meet up with another reseller, another Instagrammer. He goes by the name of Anthony from Retro Thrift Sales. Have a look at his stuff over here. Make sure you follow him before we get into the video. Go to Instagram right now. Give him a follow. Absolute top bloke, a legend. It was really fun and really cool to meet him and go for a full day of thrifting. And I mean full day. We were at the first op shop when he opened and we left like literally 10 minutes before they closed. Uh, so that's like a 9 to 5 of driving around and thrifting. I was dead. You probably, you'll probably see me in the video how tired I looked. But anyway, I have a bunch of goodies to show you guys. And I've already sold a few things, including a massive sale. And my biggest for a while as well. So I can't wait to show you guys. That's towards the end. Before we get started, make sure you like the video. If you do enjoy these type of things, it's totally free. It doesn't cost you a single thing. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And if you're new here, subscribe. I am planning to do three videos a month, maybe two, possibly three. One is gonna be like a long form video like today, 15, 20 minutes. Another one's gonna be a shorter trip to the thrift, maybe 10 minutes and less. And the other one, I'm actually going to do a what sold type of video every now and then. Due to popular demand on Instagram, a lot of people have said they'll be keen on watching that. So I'll give it a go. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, enough of talking. I'll be showing you clips from the day every now and then. And then I'll come back to show you some of the finds and what I plan to sell them for and how much I've picked them up for. Let's go. So we started at a Salvo's and a Vinny's and uh, I didn't pick up anything from there at all. So today, as I said in the video, I was going to be real picky. I got a lot of stock already and I'm trying to go for more higher end items. We're in a Salvos and uh, with Anthony. <laughs> I'm looking for clothes. It's not looking promising right now. Why'd you pick up? Uh, vintage. Um, it's pretty cool. Micro machines. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I've got to look into it more, but I think these are all half price. Yeah. That's and it. And money box. Money I box. Can't see. Can you see that? There's no other oh, box yeah. on it. Yeah. Okay. Looks cool. Three bucks. I might try it. Nice, nice. Today I'm going to be super picky with what I get. I think uh, I have enough stock at home. Today's just a fun day to hang out with retro thrift sales and see if we can score anything big. Not gonna lie guys, it's uh, not been a great start, but this is like a reoccurring theme for my YouTube thrift videos now. I always start off and they get better in the end, but I better not jinx it. Right, every stop you've gotten something, I've got nothing. Lucky, <laughs> lucky, lucky today. The first two stops, I actually didn't pick up anything. But we went to a Salvos and I picked up two items. Now, I don't know if this was a good idea. I paid $18 for this button up shirt. If you don't know what it is, it's called Affliction. The brand is Affliction. It's like a Y2K, early 2000s uh, button up top, uh, fully embroidered. Real cool, uh, real cool design, actually. I like it. Um, it's a size large. This is like the tag and the info thing. It's like a, it's like a flap. But, I paid $18. I think I should get about 50 though. I only know this brand because of American resellers that I've watched. I hit up a few just for some info and they were very familiar with it. $18 into 50, I'm hoping. Uh, we'll see how they go. They haven't sold it yet. But let me know if you think that was a good buy or not. The second item I got from that Salvos was this 5,000 piece puzzle. Raven's Burger, one of the best brands to look for in puzzles now puzzles have dipped down in the last few years however if you look for the 5,000 piece or even more uh, sometimes even 3,000 piece puzzles they go for all right money uh, I don't usually pick up anything that's under this 
because to be honest, I hate sh shipping them, they're so big. But the good thing was, have a look at this. Brand new and sealed, still in the bag, unopened. Pretty happy with that. I've sold this exact same one maybe two years ago. I think I got 150 or something. So I'm gonna aim for around that as well. Happy with that? I paid $5 for this. Next up, we hit up a small op shop, a little local one, and I only grabbed the one item, this Ralph Lauren Polo jumper pullover. What it got me to buy was actually the embroidery here and the color. It's a bit different than the usual boring stuff. And I uh, paid $5. The lady actually wanted $10. And I just couldn't do that. <laughs> so what I did, I, I actually didn't plan this. I just, I walked outside while Anthony was buying a few things. And then I'm like, oh, I'll come back in and have a look what else there is. And I walked in, the lady's like, if you want, I'll just do it for five bucks. And I couldn't say no. She was giving me a good deal. Now I have this up for about 50 as well, I think. I'm pretty sure. I did get an offer of 40 on Depop, which I accepted. Uh, 40 plus posts, but they didn't pay, so. We'll see. If someone sends me 40, I'll probably take it. It was only five. So let's do a little get to know you retro thrift sales. What is your Instagram handle so everyone can find you and follow you? Uh, you can find us at retro thrift sales on Instagram. There you go, retro thrift sales. I'll put it down below anyway. Uh, but the next question I want to ask you is how long have you been thrifting or reselling? How long have you been doing it? So it actually just hit the year mark couple weeks ago actually so one year yeah we've been doing it for about a year so still pretty new into the game but nice. having, having a lot of fun just enjoy finding cool sh and selling that's it that's it that's what it's about just uh, finished getting yelled by an old lady so yeah. we're, we're back Christian got told <laughs> it was her fault anyway I want to ask you you've been selling for a year what type of items do you usually pick up to sell um, Honestly, my favorite is probably video games, but we do a bit of everything, like toys. Do you do uh, clothes? Yeah, we do clothes as yeah. well. It's um, a bit of an everything seller? Yeah, a bit of everything. Um, but I'd say mainly video games is my thing I like to pick up most anyway. Good um, category to start with. Yeah. All right, we're back at the thrift mobile. <laughs> Let's go to, I reckon, I reckon Savers. Let's do it. All right, made it to Savers. Gonna get a 20% off. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, donate that. <laughs> So we did finally reach Savers and I picked up a few items. I've sold a couple already. Uh, one was a Barramundi, like a vintage indigenous design Barramundi shirt. Uh, I sold on Depop for this much. I forgot, I think it was like 21 or something. Anyway, I'll put up the number there. And I also sold an Ed Hardy long sleeve shirt uh, for 40 something. Have a look here again. I think I overpaid for this though. I paid $15 minus a 20% discount voucher that, that I had. I probably wouldn't pay that much again, um, but it was a quick flip. It sold literally in eight hours of listing on Depop, and uh, I can't complain, I still make some money there. What else did I pick up from Sabres? First of all was this Woody doll. Let's go, deputy. Time to rescue some toys. This is more of a modern one from 2020 or so. It doesn't actually have a pull string. It's more of a press the belly one. And it's missing the hat, which devalues it a lot. But I love picking up Toy Story, especially if they're working and talking. They always sell so fast. I just listed this last night for about $25. I paid $2.99, I'm pretty sure. It was in one of those toy bags with another toy, which I'm just gonna redonate. Uh, but yeah, happy with that. Anthony actually picked up the good ones. So go check out his Instagram. Uh, I think he posted about it there. Two more toys that I picked up. These are the 2020 Godzilla and King Kong uh, toy series that were, I think they, were, they sold them in Kmart, uh, maybe Target and those shops. They're from the MonsterVerse, I think they're called the series. And they actually work as well. So the best thing about finding toys is that when they already have batteries and is working. So that's, uh, King Kong over there and the Godzilla, I don't think it does anything, but they're freaking massive. I put them up on eBay for about, uh, I think $29.99 each and on Facebook Marketplace together, I think I put 35 or 30 if someone takes them together. I've had a few messages, no sales yet. I'm officially announcing that this year, I'm gonna start looking at books. So thank you to uh, Grumpy Granny's Discord it has inspired me and I've been learning a little bit about what to look for. So let's see if I can find anything today.
Update us. Oh, you got Check, the matching. Mate. They both have the uh, hats? Uh, I don't know if she's got the hat, man. Um, How did I miss that? <laughs> did it just come out? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. It might have. This is from 2001, but it's missing oh, the wings. Yeah. And... That thing, yeah. Did you see that one? Yeah, I think so, but I didn't look at it properly. Yeah, I don't know. I've just grabbed a bunch of shit. that? Is the other one in there? Yeah. Oh, it is there. I didn't hey, see that. This is, this is awesome. Does it work? Try pull the string. Yeah, it does, man. That's a good one. I sold these for like 70 for both. One of my favorite clothing items of the day is this Y2K FUBU, the collection. It's like a rain spray jacket. Yellow, I find yellow doesn't really sell that well, yellow clothes. So we'll see how this one goes. It's a size large. That's the tag over there. But this jacket should get me about 50 to 60 as well. I did pay $17 minus a discount. I think that's a pretty reasonable price to pay for FUBU. I have sold FUBU in the past, just not this style. So I haven't sold this just yet. I've had a few watches, but nothing just yet. The other clothing item I got at Savers is this vintage hot buttered, 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 however you want to say it. Shirt, button up shirt. This style is hot right now uh, in the vintage surfwear community, I guess you could say. I have this up for, I think, $80. I've gotten a few offers on Depop especially, but I haven't sold it yet. It's tagged as a medium, but with these 90s shirts, uh, they usually run a bit bigger. So this is more like an XL as you can see. But it's a basic, just check design. And uh, I love the little pocket hit over there, if you can see that. Anyway, this was three or four ninety nine. At the next Salvos, I picked up a Chewbacca Star Wars official Build-A-Bear plush. All right, you know it's Build-A-Bear because it's got the logo on the paw and of course the tags over there. Now, there were two of these and this other lady wanted this one, uh, but I got to her first, so too bad. You, <laughs> I'll put a video of her. <laughs> uh, it was pretty funny, but it's good because he has the accessories. That always values it up a bit more. Um, the thing is, I only grabbed this for, actually it was $2.50, it was half price toys. So $2.50 I got this for, and I sold it literally two weeks ago on Facebook Market, the same one, for 40 shipped. So that's the only reason I grabbed it. Let's see how that goes. I'll probably price around the same thing. We hit up an independent Salvos Thrift, and I picked up a few things. I was having a sale as well as it just opened up. Now there were a few op shops we went to that actually weren't open yet because it's still on like that summer break. Uh, which was unfortunate, but we still found some pretty cool things. The first thing I found from this op shop for $1 was this vintage, or you can say Y2K Billabong belt. Nothing too special. You can see the Billabong logo over there. I like this part here. But this was $1. I should get about 20 or something like that on Depop. The next thing were actually two shirts. I don't know if I should have got this. This is a Hard Rock Cafe denim buttoned up long sleeve. Now, Hard Rock Cafe stuff isn't too popular. I think it's a bit over overrated, but I don't know, I grabbed it because it was $2.50. That's a nice little back embroidery, and that is the front. So I'm expecting to get about $30 for it. So $2.50 to $30 plus post isn't too bad. Uh, pretty happy with that. I am looking into more button-up shirts. That's something I haven't done in the past four years. Uh, until this year, I'm gonna start focusing uh, on button-ups. The last shirt I got from that thrift store is this Wrangler Pearl Snap. So I'm always looking for the Pearl Snap and that, that uh, like that as techie design, if that's a word. Yeah, look, it's a good size, it's super clean. I should get about 40 to 50 for this as well, and it was only $2.50. So, pretty cool. This might even go international. I forgot, I actually got one more shirt. The brand is OM, O double M, I believe that is the name. And like I said, I'm looking into button up shirts. This brand, I only know because I follow a vintage surf wear uh, page on Instagram, and they always post this for about 50, 60 shipped, and people buy it. So I thought I thought maybe they'll buy it off me, but no one has so far. I, I may be expecting a 30, 40 for it, but it was $2.50, I, I can't complain. Another basic design, and the little pocket hit is what I love over there. But yeah, nice. The strings are pretty good, like the quality's all right. Yeah, I think I should get it. 
car can go for it. We can play on the way, at least. Yeah, do more research. Is that at least? All right, so I was just thinking about some op shopping tips, uh, something that I've picked up along the way. And one is you saw me, one is you saw me ask over there, I asked the lady how long this item has been out for. Because generally, you know, a lot of resellers come through. And mm -hmm. if he's if been out like two, three weeks, it's probably not worth grabbing. Yeah. Like not always, but that's what I find. So if, if it was put out like this morning or an hour ago, I reckon I'll look into a bit more. Any tips? Uh, not really, but I was going to say probably something like, you know, asking to go, like to have a look at the back, asking for, if you have an item. So happened to me the other day, I had a bunch of video games in my hand and I asked the guy that was walking past, do you have any more at the back? He happily invited me at the back and there was a whole stack which yeah. I ended up grabbing. So Don't be afraid to ask, I reckon. You probably get rejected more than <laughs> yeah, most times you get rejected, but hey, it's you got to try. It doesn't hurt to us. That's it. All right, we're gonna go to Vinny's now. Wish us luck. Okay, we went to an overpriced Vinnie's, but as soon as we were leaving, Anthony spotted the lady taking this out. And I don't know if he does Skylanders, so he kindly gave it to me. And it was only $10. I wasn't sure if I should get it. I've sold a whole bunch of Skylanders before on Facebook Marketplace. If I'm being honest, I don't know too much what I'm looking at. So I did hit up the octopus, the disgruntled octopus. Shout out to him. I guess I should give him a shout out because it did help me. And of course, he loves helping everybody, so everyone go message him for all your Skylander needs. But anyway, I got a whole bunch here. I think there's about 20 something, including those little things. Octopus, you can uh, you can probably comment what those little things are called. <laughs> for $10, the Octo said it's worth the grab, and I've listed it for about $80 or so. Um, I parted a few things out, so we'll see how that goes. Haven't had any interest yet, but that's okay. I've only got $10 invested into this. And it comes with this little cool bag. I would probably just chuck that in for free to whoever buys it. Let's see. What are the options? Like 10, 20, 30% off? I think so, yeah. I think it was 10 or 20. Spend 10 and you, you receive a ticket. All right, are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, 30. Yes. yes. And we're going to another Vinny's as well after. So hopefully I can find something to spend this on. Second savers for the day. And I struck gold here, I think. So first up, I'll show you the smaller finds. This Fox Studios Australia hat. I saw a comp that sold for 50. I paid $2.99 for it, official tag. It's like a nice little uh, cotton embroidered hat. So I'm happy to take that. I think I have it up for about $39.99 though, plus post. And I preach about this woman's brand all the time, Hamel & Co. I sold this exact jumper in October in a smaller size for $85. I paid $9 for this one and it's a size XL. It's in a bit worse condition. There's a bit of cracking on the graphics on the front there. So I put it for a bit less than that, but I'm expecting this to sell quite soon. I hope. All in. All in, I spent $143 in this set, in this Sabres, including the hat and the Hamon Co jumper. This is also included in that price. Alpine Stars motorcycle shoes or boots. They were $30, but I had a 20% discount, obviously. These boots, I have them up for $99 plus post. I'm obviously not aiming for that. I'm happy to accept like $70 or $80 as well. I've had an offer for $50, but I think I'll hold off a bit. Um, but what I did notice is that it's actually missing this part of the shoe. So if you look on this boot, it's got like this little plastic bit. This is missing, and one of my goals for this year, I was telling someone before, is I want to check items properly in the thrift before I take it home and notice flaws then. That's something that I've struggled with for a while. These boots are pretty good. It's a good size, size US 11.5. I'm pretty sure they'll sell within a few weeks. All right, are you ready for the big one? Uh, I sold it this morning for $400 plus post to the US. Let me go get it. Christian just got a score, man. He got a really good one, I think. Let's see how he goes with it. Just gotta move the camera back. The item's quite big. Check this out. To go with the boots, I picked up this, 
This Alpine Stars motorcycle leather suit. It's called a racing suit or something, uh, or a riding suit, I think. Anyway, it's fully padded out with all the protective gear on the shoulders and knees, the elbows. It's heavy, so I charged $85 to post to the US. I actually don't know if it's gonna cost that much. I have a feeling I undercharged postage. So I'm hoping it's not too bad. And with my post business, I'm on band number five, so I hope, I'm hoping uh, the discount's pretty good. But this thing is heavy. <laughs> I picked this up for $120. And uh, look, I was standing there for quite a while comping and trying to find any bit of information to make this worth the $120. The lady at the counter was uh, also trying to, you know, trying to sell it to me. I think they just wanted it gone. I paid $120 and I sold it five days later for $400 plus post to the US. I had a few messages on Facebook Marketplace. I definitely do prefer to sell it locally, but having international shipping definitely pays off. I would have maybe waited for a while for this sale, but I didn't have to due to international postage on eBay. But yeah, very clean, very cool. I included all the measurements, I measured everything, because things like this, you really don't want to get a return all night. Uh, so I'm really happy with this, $400, what a way to start the new year. Um, I'm gonna put up on the screen here how much profit I make exactly. So I'll calculate eBay fees, postage fees, how much I paid and all that. And this is how much I made just from this sale alone. We did a bit of research. We are a bit under pressure, you know, when they're like watching us. Yeah, this guy's just comping right in front of him. <laughs> That's a ballsy hey. move. How's the day going so far? I'm, I'm pretty happy, man. But um, I, think you, I think you've taken the cake with this uh, one. I don't know. We'll, we'll see once it sells. That's what matters. How's, uh, how's thrifting on this side of Melbourne compared to yours? I like it, man. It's a lot better. Is now it? I see why you always get the good shit. There you go. South, no, east side of the city is better than the west. North. North. Yeah, North. for sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to a couple more. Let's see how we go. All right, bingo. Well, not, not bingo, but... Checked off an item on reseller bingo. The final stop, Anthony. Let's hope we can get something good. To I don't know about off. you, man, but I'm dead. Yeah, I'm pretty tired now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's finish off strong. Just before we wrapped it up, though, there was one more salvage we went to on the way home. They were about to close, so we had to be quick. Now, the plush is already stored away. I can't be bothered getting it, but I'll put a photo of it right here. It's a 1992 Jurassic Park plush toy. Now, I found one of these before in worse condition, which I sold for about $30. They're actually not worth that much. They're made by the brand Dakin, which makes plush toys like the Garfield ones or even the Foot Trot Flat toys. Uh, so usually they're made in Korea. It's really important to learn the tags and know uh, the value of the plush toy. But this Jurassic Park one, I should get about $30. Um, I have it up on eBay for around that. So we'll see how that goes. So that's my day with Anthony. It was an awesome day. I'm definitely gonna have to head off to his side of town. So we're both Melbourne based, but we're still an hour and a half away from each other. Um, if there's anyone else out there that would love to do a thrift, hit me up, I'm always down for a good day out. We're done. <laughs> how you feeling? Pretty good, man. I think we had some uh, pretty good finds. Both of us got some pretty good stuff, actually. Um, That's good. Yeah. It's good to be on, like, uh, go through some of the stores that I haven't been to before, so. Yeah, next time, I'm going to have to come down your way. Yeah. See uh, see you clean up there. Yeah, hopefully you find as much good stuff, man. I, I, I kind of like your side of town better, to be honest. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all good. If you have not followed him already, go check him out. All the info in the description. Uh, retro thrift sales on Instagram. Is that the only place people can find you at the moment? Yeah, we've got our eBay store, but we'll keep that, we'll keep that <laughs> under us for now. Fair enough. Uh, no YouTube, no nothing, nah. no, no TikTok. No, nah, none of that yet. None of that yet? All good. All right, it was good hanging out with you, man. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you next time.